اوكي سو واتس اباوت ذا ستيرز باي سكتش ناو افتر فينيشينج ذا ستيرز باي كومبوننت ناو وي ار جوينج تو بي انتروديوسد تو ستيرز باي سكتش ستيرز باي سكتش از يوزد وين يور لي اوت از نوت يونيفورم يو دونت هاف ا يو شيبد ون يو دونت هاف تو بارل لاينز فور ذا فلايت فور اكزامبل ذا باوندري تو بارل لاينز وذ يونيفورم ستيرز اتس ذا ستيرز باي كومبوننت What's about the stairs by sketch when you have a different shape for your layout? Fine, let's see how. Robert? Okay, if I have some strange shapes for my stairs, now I can go to stairs by sketch. I have three parts. The run, I can draw a run, okay? And it's uh, parallel lines for the boundary and some stairs. What's about the boundary and risers? If I have a strange shape or deconstructed stairs, for example, curved stairs, for example, I can just go for sketch. Then I will select boundary. The boundary is the lines on the sides. One, two, for example. And one, two, one, two. This shape, for example. Okay, I have this shape for my stairs. Two and one, two. Is it uniform? No. So this is the boundary, the first line. This is the other boundary. My risers now will go on all the way of the boundary. So now I want to draw risers, lines also, from here to there. For example, from here to there. For example, this way. Strange shapes, huh? You will have these cases in some designs, so you need to draw stairs by sketch. But always make sure that you have good and enough spaces for the risers and for the, the threads also. Maybe this way and then this way. Now make sure that all your black lines are extended to intersect with these boundary lines. Fine? Always also be aware that your first riser is a black line The last riser also is a black line. Some people make mistakes and create a boundary line here, which is green, and a boundary line here, since they are on the sides. Fine, no. The boundary are only used for the right side and the left side. Then all the other lines are risers. After finishing the drawing of your layout, you can just click OK. You will have the stairs generated. It will give you the stairs with the risers and with, sorry, the railings. Go for the 3D. Now this is your stair. Okay? So when you have different shapes and deconstructed lines for your stairs, uh, strange layouts, deconstructed layouts, organic layouts, you go for by sketch. If your stairs are uniform and regular ones, You can just go for by component. Okay, let's draw another one. We can go to the plan again. Now you want to control the number of risers. You want also to control the riser height. And uh, let's not talk about the thread depth. Leave it for the layout. Okay, again, we can go for stairs. By sketch. Go down. Again, you want to control the desired number of risers. Let's make it 20 and let's make the level from level 0 to level, mm, let's say to level 0 plus 300. Okay. Let's make this one 20. Sorry. These are 20 and the height is 25. Uh, sorry, 150. Fine. Now I can start drawing. I want my risers this way. I don't want a run. I want a boundary. The boundary line, I want it this way, maybe. Then this way. Then I want a curve. This way, maybe. Okay. And I want to start with a curve from here to there. This way. Then a line from here to there and from here to there. I have just finished the boundary and it's really strange, right? You will not get this case in real life, but I'm trying to make it more difficult. 
go for the riser line again. Now, this one, I want it this way. Fine. Then this way. Two, three. Now I have to, to draw 20 risers, right? Four, five, six. These are the risers I have just finished. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and so on until you get the number that you want. I will not stop. I draw this one also. Now I need to draw a boundary, right? Maybe this way. I need another two stairs. I can go for risers this way and this way. Fine. Just click on apply. By the way, you have all the options here for the stairs and you have all the options under edit type. It's your option. And you can just click apply. It's generating now, and then I will get my stairs. By the way, you can read all the messages that appears while you are drawing, but because it's not that critical message, I don't read it. You can just read the messages, okay? Uh, go for 3D. Now this is your stairs. Fine. So you have all the options to draw any stair that you have in your design. But you should be accurate. You should know what is the riser height and what is the riser's number. And what is the height of the whole stairs. Fine? You should know that. Any questions? Is it clear? And what's about the components? <laughs> you are smiling. I like that. <laughs> what? This is what? Easier. Easier. Ah, okay, but the component is better than the pie sketch when it's uniform. Why? Because you have all the options like numbers. You can just click and you will have all the stairs generated with all the details. Okay, what's if you... I forgot what I wanted to say. Ah, okay. While drawing a component, it's the, the, the best option for the component, by the way. While you are drawing a component, and you want to convert it to sketch, then edit the boundary so you can get a stairs by sketch. How? Let's go to the plan again. This one is drawn by component, right? I can just select this one, edit stairs. After editing the stairs, just select this run. You have a convert option. This gives you the ability to change from component to buy sketch you can just click here it will tell you that it will be converted and you will never have the ability to go back to buy component so it's a one-way ticket okay just click on convert click close now you have edit sketch option if you edit sketch now it's just like it was buy sketch you can do this for example you can just do this also for example Let's extend these lines from here, and we can just also extend these lines. Fine. Click apply, and just click apply. Now you have totally different stairs. So you have the ability to draw by component. You have the ability also, sorry for the screen. You have the ability also to draw by sketch, and you can draw by component, then convert your stairs from being by component to by sketch. You have all the options to help you to draw and to model your stairs, but you are the one who is using the options. Fine? Clear, guys? Okay, let's do something else. It's about the profiles. You remember, I have selected this stair, and then I access to edit type. Then under edit type, we were, we were talking about what? about the nosing profile and about the thread profile. If you need a certain 
profile a certain shape for the section of your thread or riser or nosing. You can do that, but you have to access to the family creation environment. How is that? We are creating a profile, right? Go to the project or program, sorry, menu, new. Under new, select new family. Then go for the metric profile. Metric profile. Help me, guys. This is the metric profile, okay? Double click on this profile. Now you have a totally different environment with a totally different panel of options. I want to draw a line, okay? Let's draw any line now. This way, this way, and then I want this, this, for the rubber parts, huh? Let's delete this. Select this. Copy. By the way, now I'm creating this profile and this is the insertion point. It will be the base point of inserting the profile that you are creating. Today I'm talking about it fast, but quickly, sorry. And then we will have a huge idea and a detailed idea about this option. Now I want to measure this distance. It's 100. I want it to be 300, right? Either, either 100, 100 or 3,000. Okay, now I can move these. MV for move from this point to this point. I will make this one 50 or 30 is enough. I will enlarge this part this way. I will make this one 20, make it one centimeter. Fine. Now I'm drawing it's just like AutoCAD. We can make a fillet here, for example, DL for detail line, or I just can create a line and go for the fillet option from here to there and make it this way. Fine. Let's move it a little bit back. This way. And let's make it larger here. Then for example, now my profile is ready. I can save it on the desktop, for example, or in my library. I will name it profile 01. By the way, don't use this technique. Don't name profile 01, 02, or blah, blah, blah. Just give an accurate name and a descriptive one so you can find it easily. Let's click on this options bar, then make it one single auto back file. I don't want it to keep making these or creating these files and save. Now I can just load it inside my project or I can just load it and close because I'm not sure it will be accurate. So I will just load it and keep it open. Load into my project. Now nothing happened, right? Let's have a section here from this point to that point. Double click. On the bubble, let's go back here. Our colleague is asking, where are you clicking for the preview of the section? Let's go to, the, to this one, okay? We, we have just created this section line. Double click on this bubble. It will go to the view of that section. Let's select this stair. Go to edit type. Under edit type, I have the options of the objects that have some profiles. For example, thread profile. Go down. I have now profile one. Again, I have just loaded a family, which is a profile, right? To, to be able to use this family, you have to access to an object that has the option of having a profile. So the stair has a thread and a th the thread has a profile. The stairs also has a riser. The riser has a profile. I can just access to the stairs, select the stairs, access to edit type, under edit type, go to run options. Under run options, you will have all the options of the stairs. One of them is the threads. The thread has a profile, so I can find my profile loaded inside this category. Select this one, 
apply and ok now after applying now you can recognize that you have the wrong the, the wrong orientation of your uh, profile right let's just clear the screens and go to the profile itself compare this object or this profile to this result it's on the other direction right this way so I have to mirror this thread or sorry this profile I will go to the profile itself I can just click on double M for mirror this is my profile delete this one right DL or line sorry create and line create this line can just move this MV from this point to that point sorry again move from this point to this point now you can just load into project since I have loaded the same profile it will ask me are you overwriting I will overwrite the existing version now it's a flip right sometimes you will have some differences such like this one I can just measure this distance from this point to this point it's 20 so I have to move my profile 20 millimeters I can also measure distance distance from this point to this point I can also move my profile 20 millimeters before moving that profile I will access to edit type under edit type I want to make zero nosing I don't want nosing apply and make this one the default apply this is my profile fine clear guys okay now I can select this one sometimes it's about more than one movement 20 and then move again go down also 20 load huh maybe on the other side let's see now that's why I said maybe it's more than one movement overwrite I have moved it on the other direction very good so now you can move it in the profile and then you will have it done here fine is it okay guys XP how I can yes how can I convert my view from the profile view to my project view either you can just select from this menu here this is the project uh, view and this is the profile view the other way is to click on control and tab this way control and tab together fine so these are all the options of the stairs creations all the options for the edit type and all the options for the types selector you have three types the assembled stairs you have the precast and the cast in place inside the type you have the options for the run the landing the, the let's say the identity data and the calculation data inside the runs you have the options for the threads and for the risers which are the most important fine before starting the stairs you have to keep in mind what are your levels and what is the heights the height sorry of the step and what is the depth of your thread don't forget while drawing the stairs to go down in this menu and just specify what are the desired number so it will specify the height of each step then you have to specify that the actual depth of your uh, threads fine uh, the last thing is that you have two types or two methods to create stairs the first one by component and the second one by sketch if you have started the, uh, the modeling of your stairs by component so you have the ability to convert it to by sketch but you don't have the ability to undo or to go back to by component the by component option or method is used always for the uniform stairs or the regular shapes for stairs and layouts the by sketch is more used for what deconstructed shapes let's say 
strange shapes for the layouts. Fine? Any questions? Answers? Reflections? Shape? Ah, okay. It's a good question, by the way. I don't know if you mean what I have understood, but I will answer both. If you are asking about the shaft itself, we have talked about the shaft in the previous class. If you access to your architecture, you have the shaft here, and you can give it a height, so it will automatically open all the floors, and you can just put your stairs inside. Right? The other option, what if you have, for example, a multi-story building, 30 or 40 uh, levels building? Will you model each level separately, or you have an option to do the, the stairs by some steps, or easy steps? The thing is, do you have a multi-story building out of the same height for each level, or the levels have the same height? If yes, sometimes it's the case. If yes, so you have a very useful option. If you just enlarge the section, okay. And let's say that you have that elevation. Let's close the profile. I close this. No. Okay. What if I go to this elevation? Please focus, guys. It's very important. I only have one level here. So I will, I will copy my levels. I'll select this one. I'll copy it. Or let's make it array, okay? Array. I don't have the option. Anyways, I can copy. One, copy. I will, it should be three meters, right? We have worked on the three meters option. Okay, then I will copy this level, multiple. One, and do copy. One, two. Let's say six story buildings, okay? Now I will go to view. You know this option, and you don't have to do this, but I like to do that. Fine. I will go to my 3D again. I'll select one of my stairs. I will just make it up to level, <coughs> let's say level two, okay? Now it's up to level two. What if I want this stairs to be repeated along all of my building, to the top of my building? You can just select the stairs. You have two options. The first one, and which is the correct one for me, and which is the easiest, to go to your properties palette, you have an option of multi-story top level. I can just click on this option and select I want it to be up to level 6. Now it's copied and repeated automatically. It's, now it's, it's easy, huh? <laughs> now it's perfect. <laughs> okay, now you have another option to copy your stairs. If you have, for example, two or three levels and it does not have the same height, but you don't want to create it from scratch, you can just copy this from here, this option, copy to clipboard, and then paste align to selected levels. I want it to be copied from level 0 to level 2 and 3 and 6, for example. 4 and 5, I don't have an access from the same place, so I can just click OK. I have this option. OK? But if you have the same height, I usually and always advise you to click on multi-story top height because the load is better and you don't have that huge file. Fine? It's good now. <laughs> for example, that, uh, that one I copy, if I'm going to edit one... Yes, page, if it's a copy, you can just double click here and edit whatsoever you want. And then it will... Uh, yes, I want to delete this one. I want to click apply. It's only edited here. Fine? Only on that side. Yes, double click here. Delete this one. Apply. All the stairs will be updated. This is the multi-story top height, and this is the copy the stairs. That's why I'm telling you, if they are different, copy. If they are the same, multi-story top height. 
Again, please. Uh huh. The railing on the wall. Uh, this one is uh, with bunch of right Yes. But how about to uh, attach on the wall? You can do that, but because today we don't have the time to talk about railing. No, no. So, yes, I will, I will postpone this question to the next class. Okay. We have the ability to do. He is asking, what if I have railings on the walls? I don't have. I don't need all these composition. I just need the top rail, right? With some fixing uh, objects on the wall. We can do that, but we should postpone it to the next class because we don't have enough time. Today we are done. One more thing. The, if you want upstand on the side of the uh, Yes, you can do that also. You can use this support and you can change the, sh the shape and the type of this. Yes. Fine. Any questions? Other questions? Okay.